Hey guys, long time no see. It's Crystal from Saskatchewan, Canada. Back with another video. Um, first of all, I want to do a prayer shout out um, to Simply Jessica Marie. Uh, I guess yesterday morning she was in a car accident. I don't know who was all in the vehicle with her, but if we could all keep her in our prayers that would be great um i also i did some shopping today so i want to show you what i did and as you see i got my hair cut i have to wash it because the product that the lady used i'm getting a headache from so but this is the front kind of a short pixie and that's the back and the sides I told her I always tuck them as well as my bangs so if she could make it as clean as possible clean cut I love it that is so excited and you know what I've never had this happen this lady I was telling her now I just got, have to get back to doing my makeup she did my makeup my lipstick has, has worn off but the blush is still there um okay my nose is red I don't know why but um she did my eyes put mascara on the eyeliner as well it is super warm it was super warm I'm uh right now it is minus four celsius and the snow that we have Ugh. we got more snow with the last couple of days but it's kind of a I don't know a little more than a light dusting on the ground but uh, yeah um, some of the stuff that I picked up from Dollar Tree is stuff to do some beading some bracelets um, I would like to do that I have so much like craft stuff that is and not only that like um bracelets and necklaces that i'd like to take apart and make bigger because it's either too short if it's a necklace or they're too small if it's a bracelet um for example this one i bought it this one was um i forget where i got this from but it is bigger and I, I rarely get a bigger bracelet. Like you guys, okay, that's, that's how much bigger without stretching it. That's like my wrists are way more than the standard, what, six and a half or whatever it is. Um, so if I can't find a bracelet that fits, I like to wear these ones that you can adjust. You just pull on the little the two little ends here to make it big, uh, um, smaller, like that. I definitely don't have that size of a wrist. I was wearing these this morning. That's why they're right in front of me here, just to make it smaller like that. The only thing I don't like about them is the, the hangy pieces I don't like, but I want an adjustable bracelet, right? And this one's magnetic. I really like wearing this one, but if I throw my hands around or talk with my hands like I like to do, then the bracelet goes flying. So, anyways, enough of that. Behind me, I did paint that cross. I'll show you. I painted one of them, not both of them. I will be doing the other one maybe later today. But this is, I just use nail polish. I was going to go with um, every second one, a teal color, but I really like that. I don't know. What do you guys think? And the other one is still hanging up there behind me. Um, the beads originally are white, and then this is just a wooden, got this from the Dollar Tree in case you missed that haul. Um, so I'll be doing the same thing with that one as well. Now, to get into the haul, it is a big one, I'll tell you that. It is a fairly big haul, so let's, oh, I cooked on my 
Okay. For starters, I picked up four of these because I really enjoy using these. Uh, um, you all know I have a little dog, and she uses a pee pad. She's an indoor dog. Um, so we use a Swiffer when we change her pee pad. We use that on the floor, underneath the pee pad. So I picked up four packs of these. They are the wet Swiffer, Swiffer cloths, and there's a, if there are a 10 pack. Um, I really like them. I don't know, they're, they're quilted. The name brand is Scrub Buddies. Um, I don't know if these are scented, but they do fit the Swiffer Sweeper brand. Um, yeah, I don't think that they are quilted, or that they are, um, scented. But that's what they look like. And like I said, I got four of them. Because I really like using these. And I mean, they're way cheaper than the Swiffer stuff, right? So, I got those. And then I always, I, I don't know. I used to be the type that would be like, I can't go to the dollar store for this. I need to go to like Walmart or, you know, someplace like that. Well, you get to a point in your life where you figure, you know what, it's time to lower your pride. It is what it is. So I buy toilet paper from the dollar store. Why not? It's four rolls. If you're ever in a bind where you you need something until payday or whatever, why not? So I picked up four of these. I figured, you know what, we'll have it on hand. Not that we need toilet paper right now, but I figured four rolls in a pack times four packs. Why not? All right. Now, I got to move this stuff out of the way. And because now that I've got my hair cut in the giveaway that I will be doing, once I hit 500 subscribers, I will be adding this. And this that I had gotten on my last Timu haul, the, there is, how many are in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's a pack of 10. These are like those scrunchies. And then these. It's going to take forever for my hair to grow. So I figured, you know what? I'll throw these in the giveaway. Because by the time I need them again, guess what? <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to put this up on here. I do have some stuff in here that I, I did not purchase. Like this. I took it with me because I was going to fill it with my coffee when I was out and about, but I did not need to. Um, picked up this stuff because I thought, well, I'm gonna give it a shot instead of the purple nail polish, which this is the color that I used on the thing behind me, um, but it is a little bit of a different color, so I might not use this. I may just continue to use this. I do have more than one of these colors, so I mean, I can pour it out and use a paintbrush and do it that way instead of the little brush that comes with the nail polish. So, I do have this, though. I have had times where I really, really want to have a cigarette. As you know, I'm in the process of quitting. Again, I'm running out of vape juice, so it's been... It's today, Thursday... It's been two months and three weeks as of this past Tuesday. And in the middle of when I'm, you know, trying not to vape so much, don't want to go out and have a cigarette, I use these. These are those Scotch Mints. And I think I've mentioned this before on my videos. These, I put them in my mouth, suck on them a little bit until I feel they're getting soft enough for me to chew on. I chew it all up and I pop another one. They say I eat them like, they say you eat something like it's candy. Well, so I got four bags of these because I know I'm going to go through them. So there's two. There's three. And there's four. 
And I picked up yesterday, or not yesterday, but I also picked up, these are cable ties. It's a pack of three. I picked up two of them, two packs. I'm going to give them a try and see what they're all about. Open. They're obviously silicone. So you would just basically put your cord. I don't think you would do it like this. I think it would wrap around like this on a cord. Sorry, I got my hands in your in my face <laughs> basically that's what you would do with it i i think i there there's obviously no instructions nothing on it showing how to do it but i would imagine because that's what the one end looks like and that's what the other end looks like i would imagine that's how you do it And then you connect this end. I've never seen these before. To me, this is something new. It's by E-Circuit. And you just pop that through there. If it's going to cooperate. There we go. Now turn. Come on. Okay, mental note. When you put them on, make sure it's lined up. When you put when you put them together, when you go to close it, let go of my finger. My finger obviously is not that big, <laughs> but my finger got stuck in there. There. So I like that idea, and I like the little lattice look on them. So there are three colors. You've got the the white, the gray, and the black. I do like that. So yeah, we'll give those a shot and see. They should work. Why wouldn't they? Yeah, I like that. Told my hubby he just took the vehicle and went downtown. And I told him, I said, I'm going to be probably about an hour with this video. Just so that you know. And he's like, okay. And I said, so just, you know, in case you don't want to come home while I'm doing the video. Picked up one of these brushes. Now I know Timu has them. I'm gonna take it was a dollar seventy-five. What I pardon me, what I like about it is that it has the hook, so if you want to hang it in the shower. But this is do you see that? How flexible? And this would be all I would need to do my hair. The, with the style that it's at now. Um, basically I get out of the shower, throw some mousse in my hair, and the a uh, hairdresser did tell me do not put conditioner in your hair. You no longer need to. I mean, I have nothing to condition, right? The conditioner will make my hair soft, she said, but it will also um, make my hair oily. And I didn't know that. So, got this. Like I said, $1.75. Why not? Uh, this is also an item that I found was new. It's by Storage Essentials, three-piece uh, basket labels. So they hook on the edge of a basket or whatever it is. I figured, hey, I don't know that, I don't think they're magnetic. Uh, three label holders and 12 blank labels and three supports. No. Never mind, the support is French for three label holders. But that's what you that's an idea of what you would use them for. Pretty cool. I would imagine the um, blank labels, a person could just put a piece of paper in there if you run out of the labels, but it does kind of show that there's labels in there. Probably four labels per Dollar twenty-five. Why not? I think that was a good idea. Now I said that I've been um, wanting to do beading, 
bracelets and stuff like that. So I picked up a few things to do that. Actually, I want to show you this first because these are so cute. I am like, I don't know if this is cabin fever or what it is, but I want to get out and put my stuff outside in my yard, my lawn ornaments and stuff like that, right? I found one of these. It is a flower pot hugger, so it's got the hook on the back. That's so cute, the little frog, because you know me, frog means fully rely on God. And then this one, oh, you guys, I had to get this one. It's a little gnome hanging on a ladder. The frog, too, is, yeah, the frog's hanging on a ladder, too. Aren't those cute, you guys? I think they are. I like them. A frog and a gnome. Those are two of my sort of themes in my yard. And, of course, I had to pick up some of these because I plan on uh, planting um, my mom, I remember her telling me about a plant or a flower that is beautiful. It's called Stock Night Scented Juro Flea, um, or Matheola, and that's what they look like. So basically, uh, they're small flowers with a sweet evening fragrance. Um, I have smelt the fragrance. I bought these last year. I think I bought four or five packs because I looked everywhere. And they're an annual. So I think that means you plant every year. But if I don't kill them, um, it says... April, May, and June, you would sow outdoors. July and August, they are flowers. I don't know. I usually go to my neighbor and get her to help me because I don't have a green thumb. Mm -mm. I've killed aloe vera plants. <laughs> so... Can be sown directly to the garden after final spring frost. Keep soil moist. Germinates in 10 days. Thin as required for earlier flowers. Start indoors 6 to 8 weeks before the final spring frost. Thin out when large enough to handle. Harden off and transplant 2 weeks after last frost water regularly um so three millimeters or one eighth inch deep 2.5 to 5 centimeters or one to two inches apart to warm 15 to 20 degrees celsius or 59 to 68 degrees felt fahrenheit soil that's all french but yeah so it says compact, profuse plant with unbeatable fragrance. Easy to grow and quick to flower. Ideal for borders and patios. We shall see. And then it's got the little picture there too. So, yeah, I've got three of these. Last year, I think my neighbor and I shared one envelope. Because she went and bought some too. Um, and I believe they're just multicolored. I don't think they are like one color. I think they're multicolored. I don't know. These ones are like a purple and white. Purple, pink, and white. Anyways, moving on. Because I want to plant those, I got some soil, which is over there. I did not bring that over here to show you. And then I picked up planters that are... I don't know, maybe this big around, maybe, maybe that deep. I picked up three of them, so we shall see. And then I picked up, I couldn't remember if I had these because I couldn't find my summer stuff, like my 
lawn ornaments and stuff like that. So I picked up one of these, but I think I may have some. They're a bypass pruning shear. And I love that they have the locking piece there. I also picked up the needlepoint pruner. But um, I don't know. Maybe I'll use these for my jewelry making because I do need a needlepoint one. And what I picked up for needle or for the jewelry was these are pliers. They're needlepoint plier. I think you can use these for wire making if you're making earrings or that sort of thing. Um, then I picked up these. I don't know the technical names of them because all of these just say needle or pliers. So these are a different kind of plier. So they've got kind of a... And I was watching one channel. Um, it was Meredith Roddy with Beadalon on the Michaels website. It was a um, Michaels community classroom thing on YouTube. So that's where I got the idea from. Um, I would like to pick up Bead Reamers bead stoppers which i've already got in my cart on timu e6000 glue which you don't need but it's op it is optional you can get it elastic cord needle or a collapsible eye needle um if you get the eye needle it'll only be a one-time use the, those are the notes that i wrote for myself so um and the other channel i was watching is the stylish maker I think it's what it says there so but yeah I got these two different pliers just from that video I went and I picked up these two and then this one these are like a I don't know a wire cutter I don't know that's what I call them so I have those I can start with that I can get my plants out there I did not need these not right now oh I just realized I got them in the same color good for me good girl what else did I pick up? I picked up a pair of floral scissors. Can you guys see that? I don't know if that is um, like if it's like a like a you know how they have those craft scissors where the edge can be jagged or you know um, kind of wavy or whatever. I don't know if these are the same idea or if that's just, I, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I did pick up these, so that'll go with my flowery type stuff. Then I picked up three different kinds of, are these all, they better be, I never even looked, eyeliner. One in a purple shimmer, one in a black shimmer, and one in a blue shimmer. Now, if you ask me, and they're all LA colors, LA Colors Shimmer brand. If you ask me, does that not look like pink? <laughs> That's the purple one. This one I uh, I fell in love with when I seen it. I don't know if it's going to go on that color or what. And then this is black. And they're a shimmery. I don't know if it'll show up on here. Probably not. Because of the glare of the package. But yeah, they're all... Um, Apparently it glides glides on smooth. No sharpening needed. So now I just need to get a brown one. I didn't even think of that, but got that. I think that was all I got. Oh, I found my stylus. This was the other one I got. This I have used it a couple times, you guys. Not only does it smell good, but it is thick, and oh, I love it. I uh, went back there today to see if they had any more, mm -mm. but this is a full size. For $1.25, why not? I mean, hey, I, yeah, very, very, very happy with, with my purchases, um, Got my big old purse on the table. 
Um, this I use. These I bought from the dollar store a while back. I mean, the label is um, worn, but I, I use these on my face every day. Um, along with that dragon's blood. I'm almost done it. Probably today I'll be done it. Like, see. I try not to use too much because I really like it. I'm trying to wait until my next order comes in. But has not happened yet. Has not arrived. So, yeah. I'm going to put this stuff all back. In the bag. Those, like I said, will be in the giveaway. Or added to the giveaway. And, well, these I can leave out. I'll put these... Whoops. Down there. And I think yeah, I'll put all this stuff away. What are we at? 26 minutes? Okay, maybe I can do a little bit of readings today. The uh, scriptures. I'm sorry guys that I have not I have not been very active. We've gone through We've had a couple things happening here, and I hurt my back the other day. I'm finally, finally starting to be able to move a little more freely, but it has not been fun, let me tell you. So, I'm going to get right into the readings, just right here, and I will go up to an hour and then stop. So, we'll see how many I can get done in the next 35 minutes-ish. tablet out of the way here before I knock it on the floor. Alright, so let's start with the cards. As always, that is what they look like. Loving words from Jesus. And I'm just reaching in and pulling out a card because I have the ones I've read already with an elastic. That is what the front looks like, of course. And it says, Peace be unto you, as my Father hath sent me. John 20, 21. Hard to see. I have to remember when I'm showing you guys this stuff, I have to make sure that you can you can actually see it. Like, what's the point? I, you want to see pictures? <laughs> Oh, you know what? I'm going to put this in here There. Okay. These next ones. Where did I? Okay, there we go. The Today's Prayer. Let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love, for I have put my trust in you. Psalm, Psalm 143, verse 8. You know, guys, I've been thinking maybe I'll do a giveaway sooner than my 500 subscribers. Because that giveaway bag or thing is just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And before you know it, I'm going to have to break it into two. Oh, it looks like Mr. Sun is coming out. It's about time. <laughs> All right. Okay, the next one is these Everyday Miracles. Let me, let me be still and listen to the truth. Sit quietly and close your eyes. The light within you is sufficient. It alone has power to give the gift of sight to you. Exclude the outer world and let, let your thoughts fly to the peace within. They know the way. I really hope you guys are able to see that. Normally, it's not backwards. I never thought of that until now. I think it's been okay. That is those. If I don't forget... I want to tell you guys, my husband, oh my gosh, what a goof. 
What a goof. I have to tell you something about my husband and Timu. <laughs> He's a goof. He really is a goof. Okay, peace for a woman's soul, finding rest for your spirit. This book. Find my bookmark. It says, Honesty with God. David spoke the truth to God. He poured out his pain and his questions. He agonized over the sin that cast a dark cloud over his soul. Yet, in the midst of his darkest moments, there are gifts of grace, pearls of peace. David spoke the truth. He faced his fears head on, and following that authentic path led him to receive the gift of peace. I believe that deep abiding peace is possible only when all our cards are on the table before the Lord. I'm convinced we can't be at peace if we are attempting to hide ourselves from God. Facing our deepest fears means making peace with our seen self and with our unseen self. We all have both. I am learning to bring all the parts of me into God's presence, into the circle of his embrace, because I have, been, have become convinced that this is the only path to peace. Sheila Walsh my dear friend, Nay Bailey, encourages me to let my current anxieties be the springboard for praying specifically. In other words, when I'm worried about something, have financial troubles or relationship problems, whatever, I let that troublesome thing be the catalyst for talking to God in straightforward detail. I don't skirt what's bugging me. I don't act like it doesn't exist. I don't go on to other things. Right in the middle of my anxiety, I tell God about it as if he were my dad. Nay also told me not to edit my prayers. I absolutely love that thought. When a child pulls at its mother's coattails for something he wants, he doesn't stand there thinking, Now, how should I say this? Let's see. Shall I start with, I want, or is that too forward? Goodness, no. The kid blurts out his thoughts spontaneously with total abandon. The sincerity of his heart exposes his deepest desires. Praying to our Heavenly Father this way fosters a bonding that's sweet and comforting. Lucy Swindle. Okay. Move my bookmark. Okay, God's messages for a wonderful woman. And just, you guys, if you don't already know this, I'm sure you do. These are not just for women. You know, I, I'm sure they can be directed at men as well. Okay, how to greet people. Rejoice with them that do rejoice and weep with them that weep. Romans 12, 15. Okay, how to greet people. The Apostle Paul has this advice. If you meet a friend who's weeping, weep right along with them. If you meet a friend who's happy, then share in their happiness. When we meet certain people, it's easy for us to fall into the trap of playing a f familiar role, the role of advisor, critic, or judge. It's common to sift w what we hear from someone else through the sieve of our own experiences and the perceptions we hold of that person. It's natural to reserve our deepest feelings for things we personally feel are important. Paul's advice is just as true today as it was the day he wrote it. When you meet your friends today, make a special point to discover if they are weeping or rejoicing and resp respond accordingly. Lord God, when I see my friends today, help me remember to meet them where they are and share in their sorrows and joys. Amen. I turned the page before I showed you. Now I can turn the page. <laughs> 
Okay. Today, God wants you to know you are loved. Devotional journal. I could bring it closer. That would be nice. <laughs> you can turn your thoughts into prayer. Pray without ceasing. First Thessalonians 5.17 King John. KJV. I can't speak. Whether it's natural disasters, a horrible crime, or a celebrity's recent struggles, the media is always telling us what's happening in this world. And a lot of times, it isn't good. When I find myself dwell dwelling too long on what is happening, I'm learning to turn my th thoughts into prayer. I can pray for people whom I will never meet. And I believe God will hear my prayer and impact their lives in some way. You can move mountains. Elijah was as human as we are. And yet when he prayed earnestly that no ruin would fall, none fell for three and a half years. Then when he prayed again, the sun sent down rain and the earth began to yield its crops. James five seventeen to 18. NLT. Our prayers are backed up by the power of the world's creator. When we pray in faith, anything can happen. Elijah had direction from God to pray for rain. We have the word of God. Pray the word and watch it come to life. And then again, these little lines that you can uh, put your thoughts on what you just read. Okay, no greater love. We'll just pretend it doesn't say a 40-day Easter devotional coloring journal. Sorry about the glare, guys. Oh, this is a really pretty picture. Look at that, you guys. This is like an adult coloring book, if you don't know that already. The truest end of life is to know that life, the life that never ends. Beresford, B-E-R-E-S-F-O-R-D, Beresford. Even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. John 3, 14 to 15. If you focused more on eternity, how would your daily life change? What effect? would that have on your relationships, your career, or your free time? That's what I just read to you. Again, those lines for your thoughts. And I do have a channel that I want to shout out as well. So I'll hopefully remember to do that when I'm done this. I've got two more things to read and we are done with the readings. Okay, so this is the NLT Bible Promise Book. All right, we will go into Guidance. Oops. When you don't know what to do, if you need wisdom, ask our generous God and he will give it to you. He will not rebuke you for asking, but when you ask him, be sure that your faith is in God alone. Do not waver, for a person with divided loyalty is as unsettled as a wave of the sea that is blown and tossed by the wind. James 1, verse 5 and 6. When you're looking for direction in life, the Lord directs the steps of godly. He delights in every detail of their lives. Psalm 37, 23. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. Proverbs 3 verse 6. And here is all that I just read. Right there. Okay, one more guys. This is Prayers for Women. When we, when we are abandoned to God, 
he works through all uh he works through us all the time oswald oswald chambers lord i want my house to be your house a house of prayer a place of comfort and peace a refuge to those in need help me make our home a blessing for all who pass through its door amen that's the first bit that i read and that is the second i think my neighbors just came home <laughs> that's why i keep looking over there or maybe i'm getting a person <laughs> Yeah, I have two still coming. One from Timu and one from, yeah. I don't know. Okay, so the other channel that I wanted to shout out, I believe I already have. Her first name is Christine. Her last name is S-I-N-E-C-O-F-F. -F. Um, you could probably type in at... Christine's Halls, all one word. Um, all lowercase except the C on Christine's. Um, I got this from Hauling It With Mima as well as Simply Jessica. Simply Jessica Marie. <laughs> Both of them told me about this channel. And um, so, yeah, I'd like to shout her out. She's new. She's starting out... Um, I'm seeing she's starting to get more and more comfortable, which is very awesome. We all get there. And, uh, yeah, so if you could, um, I'll put her channel name below. I know I've told her in one of her videos that I will shout her out on my next video. So I don't know if I've done that. If not, I'm doing it now. And if I have, well, it's a refresh. So, now... My husband. <laughs> you guys. Does anybody want a husband? No, I'm just kidding. He, the other day, he went on to, he seen something, I don't know, an advertisement or whatever it was, about Timu. So he went on, he spun the wheel. <gasps> oh my gosh, oh my gosh. He come running out of the bedroom. He went in there to lay down and ended up on his phone watching videos and whatever. He come running out. He's like, oh my gosh, mom, mom, mom. And I'm like, what? And he says, look, 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 look. I I got it for free. Look, 100%, $100. Look, look, look. And he's all excited. What do I do? What do I do? Can I get it? Can I get it? And I'm looking at him going, so spin again. It says spin again. He's like, no, I already did that. And look, I, I get it for free. Now what do I do? I said, so now you have to do what it tells you to do next. Yeah, well, what, what is it telling me? You, you, you show me, you show me. He gives me his phone. And I said, okay, well, first of all, you have to log in. Do you have an account? No, I don't think so. You need to have an account. Okay, okay, well, I'll do that, do that. Because I get it for free, I get it for free. I'm like, okay, okay. So... Turns out he already had an account. He just didn't have the app. Okay, so then I go back over there. And uh, he was so, like a little kid. He's like, Mom, 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 what do I do? What do I do? And the dog come running out of the bedroom with him. And I'm like, you are crazy. And uh, he says to me, he says, oh, and speaking of crazy Mimi, yep send prayers her way as well she just recently had two surgeries uh one on the front of her neck and one on the back the back one was a little tougher but she's home now so send prayers her way as well um i'll again i'll list her channel below as well anyway so i said to him i said okay you've logged in now you have to go there blah 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 we got him back to where he was before and he's like now what do i do i says now it says buy five things to get this hundred dollars yeah okay but i get for free right and i so then i took my phone and i said now this is what it's gonna do he says okay you're not gonna do it on my phone and i said to him i said 
Look, just watch. So I went into the earn free gifts and everything. And uh, I showed him how, you know, get cash or whatever. I forget what it is listed as. But, and he was so excited. He's like, okay, okay, okay. So I'm going to get this, right? You you better go and shovel that snow, he says, because cause my parcel's coming. And I looked at him and I said, shovel it yourself. You don't seem to care when my parcels come. So, okay, fine. Uh, he says to me, okay, I picked five items. Now what? I said, well, now your order comes to, I don't know, two or three hundred dollars or whatever it was. I says, now you see this little orange button? It says check out. He says, yeah. I says, so check out. He's like, so I have to pay that? I said, yes, in order to get your hundred dollar bundle. But I th so I only pay this amount less a hundred dollars. I said, no, you place the order. Then you get a hundred dollar bundle. Oh. Oh, he says. I said, what's wrong? You're not happy anymore. Well, but I want that thing for free. And I said, you can have it for free. But you have to purchase these five items. Oh, well, how do you get five items? Or how do you get free items? And I said, I play games. Oh, well... Oh, now I don't want to play games, he says, because <laughs> he's not, he's not one of those. He watches YouTube, it's 99.99999% of the time directed at wrestling. So, I don't know, he hasn't come up to me since then. Um, oh, yes, he did. Yes, he did. He came up to me one more time. I think that was last night. He came up to me. He's like, Mom, Mom, look, look, I did it again. A hundred dollars, a hundred dollars. Look, it's free. And I looked at him and I was sitting here. I was watching a video. Um, I think I was watching Hauling It with Mima. Um, and I said to him, I said, uh-huh. And he's like, Mom, Mom. And I'm like, mm -hmm. uh, check out and then come talk to me. Oh. But mom, I said, mm -hmm. <laughs> and he's like, you, you help me. And I said, I just did. Trust me, I just did. <laughs> so yeah, I told him, I, I said, we have to do a video. This is hilarious. He's like, no, not right now. And I said, well, when? And he's like, well, not right now. It's bedtime. It's time for sleep. I'm like, oh, not time to order from Timu? No, 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 he says. Okay. So I don't know. I may have a new Timu person, purchaser, whatever in the works. I may not. I don't know. It's just funny. He He's hilarious sometimes. But anyways, as I said, that was my haul, you guys. And I'm really glad I got to get in some uh, readings. And I hope you all enjoy what you've seen. And uh, I really hope those two orders of mine come soon. I think they're both in Canada already. Well, the one I know was coming from, I want to say BC or Ontario. I can't remember. But anyway, um, I would think they should be here any day. Like... I already emailed the one company saying, like, where is my order? They gave me a, they replied to my email and said, this is your website that you go to, and this is your order number or your tracking number, blah, blah, blah. And I went on there, and it didn't tell me anything different than I already knew. So, oh, yeah. And by the way, remember I had that one video that I was, like, so upset with myself afterwards that... Because I can't become a, um, like, get sponsored videos and stuff like that. Shane, on his phone, the option is there. My phone is newer than his phone. I don't get it. <laughs> but I'm not going to be all depressed and upset about it because, you know what? 
It's in his timing. I believe that. When it's time for me to receive sponsored um, products, then I will receive them. And I've heard too that apparently Timu is starting to bring out food. Like it's brought out candy. I've heard that. Um, I don't think I've seen like vitamins or anything like that on there. But yeah, so keep an eye out for that. And yeah, so thank you everyone for watching. Welcome to my new subscribers. Welcome back to my returning subscribers. I appreciate all of you more than you know. And thank you so much for sticking around, even though I haven't been as active on here as I used to be. Um, I appreciate you guys sticking around and all your comments, checking up on me and that sort of thing. Um, I was having an issue with my phone, so any of you that do have my my cell number and have been able to text me, um, and maybe you have texted me and I haven't responded, it was because I was having issues with my phone, but I think they're fixed now. So, um... If there is anyone that does have my cell number but does not, for example, have me on Facebook, um, let me know and I will give, I will text you my Facebook information or the link or whatever. Um, and then that way we always have a way to communicate because I hate you guys to th um, be thinking that, you know, I'm ignoring you or whatever, because I'm not. I, I mean, I'm not at all. I'm so appreciative of all of you, all of your comments, all of your, you know, your your likes, your, your concerns when I kind of go MIA, <laughs> you know. I, I don't mean to, um, but when things are happening, like since I quit at the school, my husband's even said, you know, you've changed. And my sleeping pattern has changed. Um, now I feel like it doesn't matter day or night. I don't know if I've told you guys this or not because I know I've said it to a couple people. But I don't know if I've said it in a video. Um, I feel like it doesn't matter day or night. I go and I lay down. To maybe three hours. And I'm awake. And then I get up and it's like, I feel, almost feel like I've slept eight hours. You know, I feel not refreshed. I'm tired. But I wake up and it's like, okay, so I'll come sit here and I'll go on my tablet and I'll p play a couple of games that I have installed on my uh, tablet. And... Okay, now it's time for me to go back to bed. You know, if I have, um, this might sound gross, I don't know, but if I have coffee in my cup that I didn't drink before I went to bed, I'll drink it now, even though it's cold. Um, I could just warm it up, but I don't do that. And, uh, yeah, so, like I said, I appreciate all of you for sticking around and, uh, you know, um, my sleep schedule is definitely off. It's like every time I go lay down, I might as well say I'm not going to sleep. I'm going to nap because that's the way it feels. So I don't know. I don't know if there's a technical name for that. Like, is that insomnia? Is that sleep apnea? I, I don't know. I, I honestly, I don't know. Um, and then there's my husband. He can be in bed. 9 o'clock at night, 8 o'clock at night, whatever. And by 7 a.m., he still hasn't fallen asleep. So, I don't know. I don't know if we both have the same thing, just different forms of it. I, I don't know. And my medication that I take for my seizures knocks me out. Or at least it used to. But I've noticed since I finished at the school... And I have a little more time on my hands and stuff like that. I don't know if my body has just really gone into relax mode. And all I need is two hours every couple hours. And I don't know. 
I don't know what it is, but my hubby has said that I've changed. I don't know how, but I've changed. So I do know my sleeping has changed. I've now started a sleep journal. So I write down, you know, gone to bed. Um, and when I wake up, that kind of thing. And I just, I've been keeping a note. I started my journal, my sleep journal on... The 14th, April 14th, and today's the 17th. Yeah, like, I don't know. The one day on the 14th, I was up at 6.04 in the morning is when I woke up and went back to bed at 9.45. And then woke up at 11.45. Like, I don't know. It's not like I have an alarm set waking me up all this, all these times. But, yeah. So, I don't know if it's something I need to go talk to my doctor about or what. But, maybe some of you have some ideas out there. I did have my client that I seen today suggest taking melatonin. I don't know. Maybe this is a menopause thing. I don't know. Anyways, I'm just, again, running off at the mouth. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I hope you have a blessed, uh, well, I guess it's early afternoon. It's almost 2.30. I'm looking over here at my TV that I've got over here. It's got the weather and the time, and it says it's minus 3, and it's 2.28, so... I'm going to let you all go. It's been 56, 57 minutes, so under an hour like I wanted, and uh, I will see you all in my next video. Stay blessed, and thanks for watching. Bye for now.